I'm Diane. I'm Tatiana. I'm Mel. I'm Jane. And, and this, this is for Weddings. weddings. Welcome to Four-ish Weddings, the show where four-ish brides will attend each other's weddings and rate them on venue, food, dress, and overall experience in hopes to win a romantic tropical honeymoon. The bride to gather the most points wins. Hi, I'm Diane from Vermont, you know, the home of the sugar maple trees. Hi everyone, I'm Jane from Euclid, Minnesota. Hi, I'm Tatiana from the best city in the world, Miami! I'm Mel from Brooklyn. I don't have an accent, so let's skip over that part. So what's the first question? Today's wedding will take us to Lynchburg, Virginia, to the Virginian Hotel, where the women will attend John and Carmen's wedding. The couple hopes to impress the other brides with a southern elegance venue, Italian-style dining, and an amped-up reception, hoping to gain enough points to win the honeymoon. Okay, brides, let's go to a wedding. So today is Carmen and Sonny's wedding, and today I'm so excited to go. With a guest list of 375 guests, it's no question this venue is built for grand events. Carmen and Sadie have chosen a modern approach with an elegant black and white color palette. With no ceremony on the itinerary, Carmen treats the brides to a quick cocktail hour and straight to the reception hall. Later, the brides will rate Carmen on the venue, food, dress, and overall experience. So the venue, we're gonna look at this. I had an underwater wedding, it was absolutely gorgeous. And I brought everyone to see these beautiful mermaids. She didn't have any of that. She had some salami and cheese platters in a corner that were less than impressive. On the other end of the room, she had seafood. Not everyone likes seafood. I know I hate seafood. That's why I only had meats, meats, meats at my wedding. Do you have anything positive to say about the wedding? Oh, so the food, lots of options. Um, I feel like they catered to people with regular diets, unlike some people. That's why I only had meats, meats, meats at my wedding. Oh, not to mention the noise in there. It was so crowded too, I couldn't even walk two steps without getting bumped. I just didn't enjoy it. As soon as you walk in, there's these huge columns, there's this grand staircase, there's these huge centerpieces. Oh my gosh, the list goes on and on. The venue. I say that I loved it, but that would be a lie. <laughs> okay, the columns, they were just white, had no color in there. I'm looking forward to partying up all night on the dance floor. out down the grand staircase with John oh my gosh she was just sparkling like a disco ball it was so beautiful the little buttons or whatever they're called down the back I loved it the mermaid style fit her perfectly everyone loves a strapless dress okay so the dress you know it fit her and you know it was buttoned in the back and it was just the length that rubbed just a little bit on the floor 
personally, um, it was, I think it was a mermaid if I'm not mistaken, but I, you know, I'm really into dresses so I know what I'm talking about. I'm more of a trumpet. Um, I feel like she would just look better in a trumpet dress and I think she was wearing a mermaid or anything but a trumpet. It was gorgeous. I, I loved all the beaded. The dress. Uh, the dress was lovely, I guess, but she didn't keep her shoes on. Tatiana kept talking about some trumpet thing. I feel like she would just look better in a trumpet dress. Like, no, it's the shoes that she was missing. That's why the look didn't look correct. Oh, so the food. Oh, the food. Mm, the food. I feel like the lines were just a little bit long. The real problem was that the food was separated. Who's gonna walk to one corner, drop off your plate, go to the other corner, come back, and everything's cold? It's okay, get your steps in, you know? And oh my gosh, it's just, I've never even had food like that at a wedding. They had a pasta station where you can pick your pasta, you can pick your meat, you can pick your sauce, and they cooked it right in front of you. Like, I've never seen that before. They had a carving station, they cut the meat right in front of you. I don't even know what kind of meat we were having. But, um, you know, to stay fair, as a vegan, I'm not vegan, but for the vegans, there wasn't really many options. Jane kept complaining about vegan stuff. As a vegan, she's not even vegan. I'm not vegan. I was talking to her, she was eating the meat. I don't know what she was talking about. It was amazing. Like it, the, the food was just top of the line. It was absolutely ridiculous. And not to mention the drinks were on the whole other side. They had two different places for it. Hey. Just walk to the house to get this drink. This menu is so beautiful. Gorgeous. But that is gonna find. <laughs> have a wedding cake you know I just feel like that it's a very important part you know like smashing each other's face or just maybe the guests smashing each other in the face I'm not really sure As the music turns up and the party kicks in, the girls give us their score for overall experience. My overall experience has to be a four. The drinks were great and strong, but there was no real entertainment. Yes, Mel, it looks very boring. Um, but honestly, it was amazing. I loved every single inch of the dance floor that wasn't there. Yes, Tatiana, we can see you obviously had no room to dance. I just feel like the dance floor was just a little bit small, and um, I really couldn't bust out my moves through the night. And um, I really couldn't bust out my moves through the night. Right. It's like my wedding didn't even happen. It really is. Like, can I just run off my wedding like right now? Nobody tops this wedding for me. Honestly, I was on the dance floor the entire night. The girls were partying. I mean, I know some people didn't have as much of a good time as I did. Um, 10 out of 10. Overall experience, 10 out of 10. It was amazing. Yeah. 
All right, so for my overall experience, I actually enjoyed the night as a whole. Um, I'm gonna have to give it, I, I'm between an eight and a nine. Are we allowed half points? No, we do not do half points. All right, so uh, to stay fair, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. Um, I just wanted to say, I know I have to say something for the bride and groom of the I just wanted to say something about Mel. I don't know if you got her interview yet, but let me tell you, because her wedding was not that good, and she came to this, you know, five level wedding, and she just lost her mind. Come on, I didn't hear you. You should slow down on those. She was all over the place. She was jumping around and drinking. And And she just lost her mind. No need for you to wait in your empty bed where the music's there. Step out in the night, I wish you could let it go. Just let it go. The beat drops and you hear the sound of the melody that will set you free. At the end of the night, Carmen and John put out a Starbucks coffee bar for the guests. So for the overall experience, um, I don't know if the camera people were getting it because it looked like they were snacking on those cupcakes that were over there, but there was um, a lot of screaming at the end of the night for one last song. And you know, he wanted to get us one last hit in to dance around on the little dance floor that we had. Um, but then they said that we couldn't have a last song. No, sorry. We went over already four minutes. It's like we paid all this money, you know, why well, didn't pay time? But you know, we paid this money and we should get one last song and they kind of like kicked us out and, but we didn't get one last song. So unfortunately I'm gonna have to give it um, a five. Oh my God, a five. <laughs> Everything's a five, but it was a five for me. Now the brides will reveal their scores for the other three categories. First, we start with the venue. So I actually am gonna have to give the venue a seven. I'm going to give it a five. Loved it, but you know, did it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to rate it a three. Obviously the venue's gotta be a 10 out of 10. Giving the venue an overall score of 25. Our second category, the food. I'm from Miami, so I'm just my opinion matters more than others. But um, I would have to give it a five. Yeah, a five feels right. Just because he didn't have a wedding cake. Mm, the food. He's just gonna lowball it, I already know. Uh, a three? No, I'll give it a two. So, I just want to stay fair. I'm gonna give the food a six. Oh my gosh, it's just, I've never even had food like that at a wedding. Like, we had finger food. We had like little sliders, like you see it. Anyway, 10, like what else could I rate it? It's, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. Giving the food an overall score of 23. Up next is the dress. 10 out of 10. Dress is 10 out of 10. I think she was wearing a mermaid or anything but a trumpet. So I'm gonna have to give it a five. Mm, the dress. I'm gonna have to rate it a four. All right, so I just wanna be really fair. I'm gonna have to give Carmen 
a nine on the dress, giving the dress an overall score of 28. Congrats on your marriage, guys. I just think that you're gonna have such a wonderful, fair life together. But um, I just wanted to say my wedding will be more than fives. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I just hope that you guys enjoy my wedding. Oh, and um, Carmen and John, thank you for inviting me. Um, hopefully you guys see me at my wedding. Bye. I'm so happy for you guys. I hope all the life of happiness for you guys. Your wedding was amazing. Your marriage is gonna be amazing. So happy for you guys. Like I said, my wedding was top tier. So I know I got a 10 from everyone else. But all I want to say to her is you had a great wedding, but it wasn't as good as mine. While Carmen's final score is being calculated, a groom is arriving. While Carmen did not come in first place, she did get an overall score of 104 points out of a potential 160. Putting Carmen in second place to Mel. I'm Mel from Brooklyn. You had a great wedding, but it wasn't as good as mine. With an overall score of 120, Mel's wedding takes the cake, winning her and her husband the dream honeymoon. <laughs> Don't touch me. I'm Jane. And this is four weddings. Okay. I'm Mel from Brooklyn. I'm from Uclock, Minnesota. Okay, what's my name? What's my name? Tatiana. <laughs> Should I have the drink in my hand? Go <laughs> get it. Go get it. Yeah, it's a good, it's strong. You need a sap. Oh, you, she starts crunching dead in my ear. <laughs> What are the 50 states? Uh, oh, oh my god. You know, you need to like distant. 50 states. Okay. Great. Ah! Okay. okay. And this is for weddings. <laughs> yeah, for real. They'd be like, can you take the drink out of the shop? <laughs> I can't even do it. I can't do it. Give me a second. Okay. 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 Okay, give me a second. What the f is Vermont? <laughs> what was I gonna say? Diane, we don't have time for this. I know, I'm sorry. I just I'm Diane. I'm Tatiana. I'm Jane. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not. Uh, <laughs> wrong, correct. I was like, who are you? <laughs> She's uh, her Mel. Her Mel. Mel, Mel, Mel. I'm, I'm Diane. I'm Tatiana. I'm Mel. <laughs> oh, I can't. Wasn't there? But I'm gonna have to kiss. I'm sorry. The train. <laughs> that was too close. I'm not have. gonna remember. Well, okay. I can't smile. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. <laughs> what would they say after this? I'm smiling. What? La la la. I'm Diane. I'm Tatiana. I'm Mel. <laughs> I can't sit for those too many gestures. Okay. Carmen, you need to, for real, bro, knock her. Really, really nice. nice. I don't have an accent, so, so that's okay. So, Daddy, Mel. 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 Mel is that bad. with study or whatever. It's John. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to say okay, so uh, I don't know what to say. No, no, it's fine. Diane. I'm Tatiana. No. <laughs> don't Carmen, did you knock her, bro? Not hard enough. Okay. <laughs> What's your name? Tati. Tati. Okay, we were gonna do your whole full name. Okay. Tatiana. Okay, thank you. Oh, yeah. From? Okay. Miami. Okay, yeah, I'm just, we haven't even started yet. Okay, okay. You're just. <laughs> what am I gonna say? <laughs> like, Why that's what you need say to say. that though? You Thank you. No, you need to. Channel all the negative energy. Oh, okay. that's to rate it a three. <laughs> 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 that's just a three. <laughs>
<laughs> You're just being aggressive, but I just don't like it. Okay, we just need to get the shot. Correct. I'm in the shot. I'm in, I'm in the shot. Right, okay. Great. What is wrong with you two? This is weird. No, it's supposed to be for the video. <laughs> oh, oh, I was, I was wondering. I was too. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Jane. I'm from U-Clock, Minnesota. Um, I don't know what kind of accident it is, but it works. It's working. It's working. Oh, no. Yeah. No, I might get a talk. Mentions that I'm grown. I think she should be. Okay. <laughs> you don't throw me the blue grill. Excuse me. Yeah. So <laughs> great. We're gonna have to redo that, aren't we? No. We're all better than. Are you vegan? As a whole, I'm not vegan. You're not vegan. No, she's yeah. not vegan. No one's vegan. <laughs> the, the state tree is sugar maple. Our state tree is, is sugar maple. Sugar maple. Okay. There's these beautiful lights everywhere. Huge maple maple centers. <laughs> Centerpieces. Y'all got me with the sugar maple now. Okay. okay wait, wait. What are you gonna say, Sam? No, don't give me no more fun facts about Vermont. You know what? I'm the whole blooper reel, actually. It's just me by myself. Clap again. We're <laughs> okay. I feel like, should I be nice here? I didn't want them to be like, oh, can that's actually Sam. Can we my wedding? We can do a little heartfelt message after and be like, yeah. we blame ya. Yeah. That's, oh my gosh, that's perfect. Yeah. <laughs>